If you get this error message from Fortnite Battle Royale and the error says the code execution cannot proceed because game input.dll failed to load, verifying game files may fix this problem. Even if you try to verify your game files from the Epic Games Launcher, this will not work. For example, if you want to verify your game files, you need to select the three dots for the game, which is this one. Select on the three dots and then select here on manage. Then you'll see an option to verify your game files. However, even if you do this, this will not fix the problem. Now, the main issue is this one. Recently, Fortnite released a new update that no longer supports older versions of Windows that don't have the game input.dll file, which is why you see this error. Now, to fix this issue, you need to update your Windows. Game input.dll often fails on outdated Windows 10 builds. Go to settings on your PC, select update in security and install all mandatory plus optional updates and then restart your PC. Make sure you have a minimum Windows version of Windows 10 May 2019 or greater. If you Google here, which is what version of Windows support game input DLL, you'll see here game input DLL is supported on Windows 10 version May 2019 update and newer as well as Windows 11. So if you go here to the website for developer Epic Games, you can see they clearly say, we suggest communicating a minimum Windows version of Windows 10 May 2019 or greater to your players. Those version of Windows should have game input DLL installed by default in the system 32 folder. So you just need to update your Windows and the issue should just resolve. To update your Windows, you can search here for updates if you're with Windows 11, but this issue occurs mostly on Windows 10. So select here, check for updates, and then select here, check for updates to check for any updates that are available and make sure to download and install those updates. If you're on Windows 10, make sure to go to settings, select update and security, and install all mandatory plus optional updates, and then restart. Ensure that you only have this one, which is Windows 10 version, May 2019 update, or Windows 11, this will only work for you. So show that you follow the instructions very carefully, and I hope this video helped you, and see you next time.